it's officially time, more than 5,500 kills into this grind, to start to do something different. And looking at this level 2 red deer over here, that is kind of the start of our different approach. You guys have been telling me to do this for a while, and I've kind of resisted the idea, but basically, any stag in the minimum weight range, we're gonna let go. So, level 2s, level 3s, and some level 4s are going to just be let go. And I guess the idea is something along the lines of trying to balance things out from the game's perspective. I'm not even sure I still look at it as if it's random, but at some point, like I said, more than 5,500 kills in, we gotta switch something up and really I'm willing to try anything. He is already coming back, really trying to get shot, but we are gonna take the level seven over there. I think for at least the second time in a row, maybe the third time in a row, we've got a level seven or better at the Kalina Roto Lake. That is the one kind of unfortunate thing, by the way, with kind of intentionally avoiding the level twos and such, having one at the lake where I pretty much start every single run is a little unfortunate, but then again, as long as other stags are spawning around, it really does not make that big of a difference. The real purpose in it is just to run a ways to allow Red Deer to get into their zones. But from a content perspective, really not that much is going to change. Maybe on occasion when we're at a lake, we may avoid shooting a certain Red Deer, but the way that we've approached this basically is gold Red Deer or better that are included in the hunt, or at least lakes that have a gold Red Deer or better, so not much is going to change in the videos. That works out rather well. This is another lake where we have a red deer that we're leaving this little level 3 right here. But the 6 and the 7 we are going to take. And just for the sake of trying to make sure that we reduce the amount of hunting pressure that we are causing, we'll use the tripod. We'll take the bigger one first. And I will say, in situations such as this, that shot might have been just a touch high. Probably vertebrae. I think we hit the hind on the follow-up. It's going to bring him down, but could definitely saved a lot of time by making a slightly lower shot. It is nice, though. Instead of having to shoot three red deer every time, if it's just two, normally the shots are a little better. <laughs> Unfortunately, that didn't exactly happen there. I guess the bright side is we did make the shot on the level seven, so our second goal thus far. And now we get to track this other one down with the help of Sir 12, who is very close, by the way, to being max level, probably a couple more of these and he'll be there. And I'm sure this one will help him out to reach that. Obviously ends up being a bronze, but just one more for our response. This must be the most consistent lake to get mythicals, but not diamonds. Almost every time, and it's in that particular zone, not even the other zone where we often get them. We'll see a level 8 over here. I don't think we've had a single 9 earlier in the grind. We did shoot a diamond right over in here, where the level 5 is, but at least since the reset, there's been none, and that's really when the mythicals kind of started to show up across the lake, but two more kills, including what is going to be our highest scoring thus far. Our level 5, which at least this time is going to be a silver, and luckily we can fast travel to go and grab the mythical. It will be a pretty good scoring one as well, 241. Oddly enough, I think that's our biggest mythical ever, not that that means a whole lot, but I think that's as high as I've seen this rack score really anywhere. I actually don't remember the last time we had four stags at this particular lake. We're down in the southeast, and if we look all the way across, we do have four different ones. It's this lake right here. Could just be kind of luck from the different areas they've respawned from, or it's also possible I've just been missing one, but... With a level 7 over on the other side, we are going to want to take these. I think we got the 2 on that side. That 6 over here is going to be difficult, wherever that exactly was. And I think the 7 was going to be okay, so we'll probably need the 22 for that. We actually could kind of do that now, and then go ahead and try to get the 7 first. Because I don't think the 6 is going to hear that shot. Yeah, the 6 is still kind of just turned around, has no idea anything happened. Yeah, we can drop him and be potentially a little more time efficient. Just since we didn't have to, you know, continue staying scoped in on him, we could turn to the 7. I think that's all of them. And I'd say about the only thing we could have done better was maybe drop the a couple of stags other than the 6 that didn't drop. But 
really with the long shots from the 308, they don't make it all that far. I'd kind of prefer, at least when they're broadside, to take the long shot and track them a little bit. Gold level 6s are always nice, by the way. That, as opposed to maybe making a bad shot and having to track for a long time. Now, of course, when it comes to diamonds or rares, I usually do try to drop them, but it's kind of a special scenario, I would say. You know, seeing it like this, the 6 and the 7 were not that far apart. You can see the blood right there where we shot the level 7. It really felt like they were a good bit farther, but the 6 never heard the shot. Definitely it worked out in our favor, but with this one claimed, a 198.5 level 7, we can finally move on to the next lake, which I think is just going to be this one to our west. It took a little bit, but we're at another lake with one of the stags that we're going to leave. I can't tell. That's a level 6 back in there. Maybe that could be gold and a smaller 6 here, but I wanted to, at least in this hunt, kind of highlight some of these spots where at least we're shooting some kind of decent sags along with leaving one of the smaller ones that we've seen in the past. Just because in the future we're not going to make any reference, probably at least, to some of those smaller ones, but I don't have a count exactly. I know there would be at least four because there's one spot that we've not been to yet that does have another level 3 stag. But the other thing that I'm interested to see what happens is if there's going to be many more level 2s, 3s, or 4s that show up, or if it ends up happening less where we just kind of continue to see anything in that mid-range or higher. For now though, just two level 6s, a 168 scoring silver, and one that I think maybe has a shot at gold, I believe that's the right rack. It's always tough to tell with them, and it probably comes down to a spread to some degree. I guess that would be the incorrect rack, given that he is 12 points away though. Ooh, that looks a little bit better. I was starting to get a little bit worried. We weren't seeing a whole lot of anything today. Got a 9 in here along with a decent 7 and a 5. I'm not a big fan of the wolves barking back there, but I don't think that's going to impact any of these guys across the league. This is the very lake where maybe two weeks ago we deleted a zone right over in here because the red deer were spawning there in too close. Therefore, they were invisible. Now, there are only three stags, so as long as we don't make any bad shots and end up hitting a hide and needing a fourth shot, we shouldn't delete a zone by not using the tripod, but where that legendary is, there's not really any room to shoot him from it, so we'll try to get in here and attempt the drop shot that I said I tend to go for on the potential diamonds or rares. If we can alert him, that would be nice. I see him going attentive. We did get him to go alert. We'll see if we can actually get a shot off in there. That's kind of a whole different matter. Not the ideal angle, but a hard shot nonetheless. I believe actually, if I'm not mistaken, out of the corner of my eye, I saw that level seven take off as we ran around. He was unfortunately a little bit closer. That tree got absolutely smoked by the way, but uh, in an attempt to alert the nine, I think we sent the seven running. That might be him, it is him. Gonna be tough given the fact that he is going over the hill. I think we just smoked another tree. If there were great one trees, we'd be well on our way getting some respawns, but in the meantime, there are usually other red deer over on the other end. Maybe, if we get lucky, we might catch that seven coming back. This might be the difference between the silver and gold racks that I just kind of got confused back there at the last lake. Now, I'm not saying one's going to be a silver and one's going to be a gold. The gold rack still has to be an especially big one, although that is a max estimate 7. So honestly, I have no idea. Maybe that's a, a tier up from the rack that I thought the last one was. I don't even know if we got that shot in there. Definitely two went down. It depends because we hit a hind on one of those shots. I would expect that the hind was a, a poor hit. Considering we weren't attempting to hit it, probably we hit something like the skull or somewhere that we aren't going to bring it down quickly. I'm guessing that we got the 7 too. The 6 is down right here, 171.4. And the 7 is right there, so let's look and see. If he's in that area of like 182, 183, then I guess he's got a smaller rack for that weight. He's 192 though, so 
there's something about this rack a little bit bigger than the one that normally scores right at the gold mark of 182. By the way, that 7 is back over there. He might nervously drink, he might not, so we're going to hope that a shot like that is going to bring him down. It might be a bit far back, but he's going to drop. And now, finally, this seems to happen all too often. We've made it around the lake for our level 9. I do not see split prowls, so this should be the big rack, probably in the 260s area. 266.1 and a 239.5, basically. Weight on that guy. One of our bigger ones in terms of weight. Still not our biggest in terms of score. We have a 267.1 or 3, I think it is, or maybe both. Heart and double lung. Pretty proud of that shot. It was right at the top of the heart, but enough to drop him immediately. We'll send that off to the lodge then. Another one for the... What is a quickly growing uh, room of all red deer from this grind. There should be a five. I know I saw it laying there from a distance. It can't be too far away. Once again, with Sir 12's help, we're going to recover that one a lot more quickly because I think it ran the other way to begin with. Or maybe we just hit him twice. I didn't remember shooting that one two different times, but there's Sir 12 recovering that one. And the seven, which we know is going to run a little bit, also shouldn't be too far off. And with that one recovered, and with the help of Sir 12 once again, I think we're down to just one lake left. It's just about 10 o'clock, so that will do just fine. And it's the Tornado Lake, which has been very, very inconsistent as a lake. So inconsistent, in fact, that there are no red deer visible. So I think we are pretty much ready to head back to the lodge once again. Always nice at the end of these grinds to go back to the lodge and have something to place, but every single time we are in a way running out of space to keep on adding to it. That's not to say that there still isn't plenty of room, but we're starting to go down the side hallways now with this guy. 266.1 though. Another really good size stag, definitely one of the best ones that we've had throughout. I do find that interesting. A lot of the stags that we've gotten have been, you know, towards that upper end. Some of these recent ones, a 253 diamond, a 251 diamond, another 251 diamond. Some of those are kind of on the, the lower end, but we've had so many in that kind of 265 area. We've got the 267.1. I think this is the 267.3. A couple other 265s in that kind of area and some smaller ones. It just seems like most of the time we do end up getting that bigger rack. So I don't know if that means anything. All I can say is hopefully if there's anything to starting to leave from the smaller ones, maybe that'll start to work out hopefully sooner rather than later. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.